Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a review of the Lenovo Flex 5i Chromebook. This is the 13.3 inch version. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM, i3, 11 generation CPU, and this one has 64 gigabytes of EMC storage. So let's go over the outside of the unit first. You guys can see the top, it has a Chromebook logo, Lenovo. Now this leaves fingerprints like crazy. As you guys can see, I can just put my hand on and it will leave fingerprints. But this top is made of aluminum. Everything else is made of plastic. And let me show you the bottom first. We do have the fan grills. This unit does get hot when, you, when you're using it a lot and you will hear fan sound. But this is the grills that outputs that hot air from the unit it also has two long stoppers when you place it on the table so it doesn't move and um, on the left side we have usb-c which charges the unit usb type a we have the microphone jack and we also have sd card reader and on the right side we have kensington lock slot we have another usb-c which also charges it we have the volume rockers and we have the power button all right, so once we open the Chromebook, we can see it does have backlit keyboard. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. We have the front camera 720p resolution. And cool thing about this, it does have a privacy shutter button. It's just a like little button that you move left to right if you wanna close the camera. camera. And then when you wanna use it, you can also open it. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom that in. And uh, as you guys can see, it does show like a little bit red. That means it's closed. And when it's open, that red dot disappears. Honestly, I think that's pretty cool. I feel like every laptop should have that privacy thing just in case. So let's talk about what's inside the Chromebook. We have i3 CPU 11 generation. As of this moment, that's the later generation that the Chromebook has. I haven't seen any with the 12th generation i3 or i5. And this one also has eight gigabytes of RAM, which is amazing. Um, it has 64 gigabytes of storage. Now, when it comes to day-to-day -day use with that i3 and eight gigabytes of RAM, this thing is a workhorse. It, it just speeds through everything. I had few tabs open. I had other apps. As I mentioned, I have Steam running. And uh, let me show you guys that. I have a full Steam, full Windows Steam, well, Linux Steam running, and I'm playing some games on it, and that that is working amazingly. And it really pays off if you do wanna use Chromebook for next two, three years to get a higher up model with the i3 or i5. And I would recommend eight gigabytes of RAM just for future proof. But if you do plan on using it for just YouTube, browsing store and playing occasional arcade games from the Google Play Store, then four gigabytes is fine. But if you wanna use it for next few years, I definitely recommend eight gigabytes upgrading it. Now, as you guys can see, I have a full Steam running and my previous video, I did play a couple games that just to show you it is possible to run Steam and play games. All right, next, let's talk about the screen. This is a 13.3 inch full HD resolution, 1080p. It's also IPS display. Now let's talk about the keyboard next. This is the full Chromebook keyboard. It doesn't have the number pads, but it's expected from 13 inch size. Now it is, it does have a backlit keyboard and you can also control the level, so backlit, so you can turn it off or you can set it at 50% or you can go all the way, which will get very, very bright. I usually keep it at about, I'll say 50% halfway in. And it, the keyboard itself looks very gorgeous. Now, it was a pleasure to type on it. I really enjoyed this keyboard. Just a very, very good keyboard. So if you need a laptop for school and you're doing a lot of essays, a lot of writing, a lot of notes taking, this is definitely a very good keyboard. Now the trackpad on the other hand, it is a bit small. Now let's talk about the sound of this Chromebook. The, the Chromebook itself has two up force pointing speakers, one on each side. Now I did watch some games and I did play movies and I did listen to some music, but let me show you guys example of the speaker sound. First one.
for me, they sound pretty good. I'm not an audio expert. The speakers are by Max Audio. Now let's talk about the camera. Let me just show you guys how that camera shutter button works. Now it, it is 720p, that's me. And if I move this, it will close the camera. And if I leave it open, it will show, of course, the image. And it will also give you a light. That means the camera is on. Now I do prefer it off and I just leave it off like that. If I do end up using it, that's good. But this camera can also record video and you can also scan stuff with it, which is another cool option. It says, place all edges of the document within the frame. Scanning works best if the document and background are different colors. And it's quite amazing that you can play a Steam game like this on your Chromebook. All right, so another cool thing about this Chromebook, it is two in one, so you can actually flip the screen. You can do uh, you can do a tent mode, which will be show up like this. And uh, so you can do this tent mode, so you can just browse the app you have. For example, you can open up Chrome and uh, you can open up YouTube, or you can go back and uh, just type in whatever you want, you will get on screen keyboard. Alright, so that was my review of the Lenovo Flex 5i. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.